Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Fairfic, and this is World of Tanks. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of one of my oldest tanks, although the replay is fairly recent. I just got it the other day, actually. Um, but this is the Super Heavy Tank T-34, the American Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank. And I have had this tank since... well, back in March of this year, actually. And, uh, I was still not that great at the game back then. I think the highest, uh, tier tank I had at that point was a tier 6. So, understandably, my stats in this tank are kind of crap. Although they're not terrible, I don't think. But they're pretty average, I guess. Anyways, this tank plays sort of like a T-29, but with less DPM, I believe, and uh, worse aim time, but better accuracy. This is probably my favorite tier 8 premium tank out of all the tanks I have tried or bought, because unlike tanks like the 112 or the IS-6, the gun is actually really good on this tank. It has very good penetration, and it doesn't feel as frustrating to play, at least to me. Whereas the uh, tanks like the IS-6 are better for sort of bullying uh, lower tier tanks that really can't do much to them. This tank is pretty decent at taking on equivalent tier or higher tier tanks. But it does lack armor and DPM against lower tier tanks. Uh, I would have gone up onto the hill because this tank is very good at hull down situations. But I noticed most of our tanks were going onto the hill. So I thought they would be able to kind of hold it, or push through. Um, that doesn't end up happening, actually, and this game sort of starts out slow for me. But I decided to push forward to make sure we weren't getting flanked through the middle. And I run across a handful of the enemy tanks. but most of them are lower tier than me. But I feel that I can be kind of aggressive in this situation, and now I have to be, because there's three enemy tanks on the cap, and we don't have many tanks down here near the cap. So, basically, we're going to have to work together to take all the enemies out and stop from being capped. As you can see, the armor is on the hull is, uh, is okay. I mean, I wasn't angled that much and I still managed to bounce the the shell of the VK-3601H, which was using the 88mm gun, which has, I believe off the top of my head, 132mm of penetration. And I get ambushed by their GW Panther. But I get to put a shot into him as he tries to escape, and unfortunately it is a low damage roll. Or at least below average, which I consider low. <laughs> but anyways, he manages to escape into the train station, I guess it is. And I have more pressing matters to deal with, like the tanks that are in the cap. So there's a KV-1S backwards. Another low roll. Unfortunately, I don't get to finish him off there. And the Sherman Jumbo is not in cover at the moment. And I'm reloaded. And he's side on. That's an easy shot into his side. Now it's two tanks versus six. And one of our tanks is an artillery piece. 
who I guess has done pretty well, actually, for being on Himmelsdorf. He has two kills. Anyways, I finish off the KV-1S. And then I decide to go back and deal with the GW Panther, because he's probably noticed that I was kind of focusing on the tanks in the camp. So he's probably going to try and ambush me again. And now it's me versus six enemy tanks. At this point, I wasn't really thinking about winning. I just wanted to do as much damage as I could before the game ended. Because I need the credits. I'm going to be getting the E75 soon. And I need money for that. Although I'm not too far away. So, now it's me versus five tanks. And I go for it. I was going to try and flank around... But I spot the Hellcat and take him out. The Type 59 doesn't really look like he wants to come out and play with me. Especially now, since I'm very hull down in this uh, opening. And I go back to shooting the tanks that are in the cap. What I'm doing here is actually side-scraping. The T-34 is not amazing at this, but it can do it, especially against tanks with low penetration, like the Super Purging. Although it's usually better to, to try and go hull down as much as possible in this tank, because the turret is really the only place with effective armor on this tank, for the most part. I end up taking a hit from the IS-3, but I know I can finish him. IS-3s don't usually pose a problem against the T-34, as long as you can... you can uh, not try to out-DPM them, because that's something you probably can win. I get a shot on the Type 59 as he tries to pull back after shooting me. And I know that the T-28 was last spotted up on the hill, thanks to XVM. And that he's a very slow tank, so it's going to take him a while to get to me. And I'm trying to finish off this Super Pershing as quickly as I can. He's taking the bait and shooting my side armor. I really thought that shot would go in and finish him off. But no such luck. And now I'm actually thinking I can win this. So I'm getting kind of excited. Especially now, because it's 1v1. Now, I don't really want to sit on the cap and draw the T-28 to me. I'd rather... Well, I'd like him to come to me, but I'd like to be in an advantageous position as much as possible. I don't want to sit out in the cap because there's not much cover there, and he can come from almost any direction. And that's something you never want to do, is sit in the cap if you're being shot. You notice, or at least I notice, a lot of players just sitting there, getting shot repeatedly. And there's just, you know, there's no reason for it, unfortunately. But I reload premium rounds because I know the front of the T-28 prototype is very hard to deal with, even for the T-34 at times. And there he is. He's coming down off the hill. I take a punt at him and pull back. He wasn't even looking at me. He was just looking at the ground, it looks like. So I decide to pull back and not go out in front of him and sort of set up a little ambush of my own for him. Because I know he'll come around that corner. And there he is. Put a shot in right below his machine gun port, it looks like. 
and what I do here is very bad, and I deserve to lose the game for this. I went tilt. I go out in front of his gun, he was waiting for me. And I lost the game. Because of my mistake. But it was a good game. You know. I had a lot of fun playing it. But I was kind of upset with myself because I made such a such an obvious mistake. I really should never have gone back out. I should have just waited for him to pull in front of me again, like he most likely would have. But instead, I got excited and basically let him kill me. So, that's really my fault that I lost the game. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope maybe you learned something from my mistake. And maybe I'll catch you next time. Take care.